In this video, you will understand how to access dashboard in Tally Prime. Dashboard in Tally Prime is a one-stop repository for all the key business insights that you would want to know. It provides you with a bird's eye view of the different areas in your business so that you can assess the business's health. With Dashboard, you get to know the areas in which your business is thriving and those that require improvement, thereby helping you make key decisions for the foreseeable future. You just have to skim through all the tiles of the Dashboard, catered to you on a single interface for your quick reference. Let's first see how to open Dashboard in Tally Prime. You can navigate to the Dashboard using Go to Press Alt plus G. Type or select Dashboard and press Enter. Or you can open it through Gateway of Tally or switch to as needed. You can see that the dashboard has some default tiles using which you can understand how your business is proceeding. You can also drill down from a tile to view the report corresponding to a specific data point. Tally Prime provides you with predefined views for dashboard. Press Alt plus G. You can see the purchase dashboard and sales dashboard. Similarly, the predefined views are provided under Switch 2. You can also open Dashboard with a predefined view from within the Dashboard. Press Ctrl plus H. Select a predefined view, for example, Purchase Dashboard and press Enter. As you can see, Dashboard has opened with the tiles related to purchase. Similarly, you can change the view to Sales Dashboard. You can also view Dashboard vertically with one tile per row. Press Ctrl plus H. Select Vertical and press Enter. As you can see, there is one tile per row now. Press Escape and then you can press N. Thereafter, you can save the view with the configurations applied to the Dashboard. To know how to use the Save View feature, watch our video How to Save a View for a Report in Tally Prime. Now, let's see how to change the period of a specific tile and entire dashboard. You might want to view the sales trend of a specific quarter, receivable slash payables of the current month, and top group slash ledgers across the financial year. In such a case, you can choose to change the period of specific tiles as per the information you want. To change the period of a specific tile, move the cursor to the tile and press F2 or Alt plus F2. Enter the from and to dates and press Enter. As you can see, the period of the tile is changed. Now, you may want to view all the tiles for a specific period. For instance, you are doing a quarterly review of your business and want to change the period of all tiles to view the data or graph for that period. To change the period of all tiles in the dashboard, press Ctrl plus F2. Enter the from and to dates and press Enter. You can see the period is changed for all the tiles. Now, you might have added multiple tiles on the dashboard and you will need to scroll through the dashboard to view all the tiles. Let's see how to scroll across the dashboard. Press Ctrl plus down arrow key to scroll downwards. You can also click the arrow located at the bottom right corner. If you want to move upwards, then press Ctrl plus up arrow key. You can also click the arrow located at the top left corner. Now, if you want to move to the next tile in the dashboard, then press Ctrl plus right arrow key. You can also move to the next tile by pressing tab. Pressing Ctrl plus left arrow key will enable you to move to the previous tile in the dashboard. 
You can also move to the previous tile by pressing Shift plus Tab. Now, let's see how to open dashboard as a home screen at the time of loading a company. As a business owner, you might want to view dashboard when you start your day so that you can view critical information regarding your business and take actions accordingly. You can make dashboard as your home screen whenever you load a company. Press F1. Settings. And then start up. Select open dashboard on loading a company and press enter to set it to yes. Press Ctrl plus E to save. As a result, in this specific Tally Prime application, whenever you load a company, you will view dashboard as the home screen. Shut this company and load it again or you can load another company. You can see dashboard as the home screen. Dashboard provides you with a wide range of tiles, some of which are default in the dashboard while you can add the other tiles as and when needed. It comes with a variety of other features such as the ability to configure a tile based on the kind of information you want. You can also expand a tile if you want to focus on its details. What's more? If you do not need a tile for the moment, you can remove it in a matter of clicks. To open the dashboard, press Alt plus G. Type or select dashboard and press Enter. Let us first see how to add a tile to the dashboard. Consider that you have maintained cost centers for different zones in your business and want to view the top 5 cost centers or zones in which your company has made profit. Press Alt plus A. Type or select top cost centers and press Enter. Select primary cost category and press Enter. You can now view the top 5 cost centers. In a different scenario, as a business head, you might want to compare the gross profits of each branch in your business. Load companies created for the branches. Open the dashboard. Press Alt plus A. Select company wise comparison, gross profit. You can see the gross profits for the loaded companies. Similarly, you can add as many tiles as you want to. Press Alt plus A. Select the tile you want to add from the list of tiles. As you can see, you have got a range of tiles under Accounting, Inventory, Bank slash Cash and Statutory. If you want to view the added tiles frequently, then you can save the view of the dashboard with the tiles added so that you do not have to add them time and again. To know how to use the save view feature, watch our video, how to save a view for a report in Tally Prime. Now, let's see how you can configure a tile based on the information you need. Consider that, as owner of the business, you want to check the expenses for a given period along with the other details in the trading detail style. Move the cursor to the trading detail style and press Alt plus C to configure the tile. Enable show direct expenses. Select the group for which you want to view the direct expenses and press enter. And then set show indirect expenses as yes. Select the group for which you want to view the indirect expenses and press enter. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. You can now see the expenses in the trading detail style. After configuring a specific set of tiles, you can save the view of the dashboard for your immediate reference. Similarly, you can configure each tile as per your requirement. Move the cursor to the tile you want to configure and press Alt plus C.
you can also expand the tile in the dashboard. While in a meeting or working with a colleague, you might want to zoom in or focus on a tile to view the data with better clarity. In such cases, you can expand or enlarge the tile. In the dashboard, select the tile you want to expand. For example, select Sales Trend. Now, press Alt plus V. The tile is expanded and you can focus on it. Now, let's see how to remove a tile from the dashboard. Consider that as a finance manager, you want to view only the accounting tiles and not the inventory tiles. Bring the cursor to an inventory tile that you do not want to view. Press Alt plus T to remove the tile. The tile gets removed. The best part is that you can always add the tile back to the dashboard. Moreover, the tiles never get permanently removed from the dashboard unless you save the view of the dashboard with one or more tiles removed from it. As you saw, dashboard comes with a diverse range of features to help you gain the required information. Thank you.